The following podcast is provided by Era Living, innovator in residential retirement options since 1987. And welcome back, everyone, to Answers for Elders Radio Network. And we are so thrilled to have had Seth and Julia join us this hour. And in this segment, I want to talk to the two of you about, you know, what happens, obviously, seniors that have lived alone, they're isolated, um, oftentimes, they've been in situations where maybe all they've done is sit and watch TV. And now they're trying to figure out like, what's next in life? Uh, How do you find dealing with seniors that may be in depression or loneliness or things like that? They have so much, and Seth touched on this in the first segment, they have so much new to explore and they have so many new decisions and things that they have to make mm-hmm. when they move in that it's all very overwhelming, right? Um, yeah. That I don't know if a lot of them really have time to process what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and obviously all these new things. Seth, when you meet with groups and things like that, what do you find are kind of some of the hurdles that seniors have in adjusting? Well, they're all they're all coming from their own unique background. And so, again, every situation is different. It's never a one size fits all approach. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, oftentimes uh, it can be common for uh, residents to move in during a major life transition. Mm -hmm. Uh, And and being cognizant of that as a staff and and having that collaboration to really know where a resident might be coming from Mm -hmm. or uh, a life transition that they're going through. Uh, we try to be very aware of that and very sensitive to that, to, particularly mm-hmm. obviously me to, to maybe make it a point to meet with that resident very um, early on in the moving process to let them know that I'm a person of, uh, of support and it can be a primary contact. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think residents are always so impressed when they find that there is a uh, a staff member that that is working in a full-time or part-time capacity that's a licensed social worker or therapist um, sure. directly, directly um, on site, uh, which is a really unique characteristic of ERA that uh, obviously they value mental health and that's yeah. important. Well, and both of you probably, like you said, major life transition. I'm sure grief is a big part of it if they've lost a spouse and all of a sudden they've had to let go of so many things, especially maybe the home that they shared those memories with. Um, you know, finding a new purpose again has, you know, you guys are kind of the gateway to that. Um, What do you think about that? We sit down, me or one of my recreation assistants sit down Mm -hmm. with every single resident when they first move in. We give them a couple of weeks usually to acclimate, unpack, things like that. And it's all very individualized. So we sit down, we do like an interest portfolio on them. We ask about their background, where they lived, what their hobbies were, what their volu- what they did for volunteer work, you name it. And if they were married, if they have children, things like that. And once we've, uh, we do it in a very casual conversational way so that we get to know them. And then we also give them the opportunity mm-hmm. to know us mm-hmm. and from there, we are able to kind of take a look and create an individualized kind of plan for them moving forward mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and let them know that we're here for them if they have questions, as they get more situated. But it is very individualized. It has mm-hmm. to be. And that is where we find the most success yeah. creating that one on one relationship early on. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that there are so many stories that, that um, Era Living has shared already of the ways in which people have felt welcomed into your communities. And I think that's it, you know, of feeling the need to be needed um, with the sense of occupational wellness. Um, you know, Julia, when you, do you bring out that say, you know, we really need you? How do you meet that need? Like I said, it's very individualized. We look at what their interests are and then we literally go through our activities and find out what points of interest they have. Yeah, Um, yeah. And we explain that more and we explain which people, you know, they can find in those activities. Yeah, 
they might have already started establishing like some kind of friendship with. Yeah. Well, and it's it's like, hey, there's a bridge game. You love to play bridge and we need a fourth person. All of a sudden you feel that connection. I know that um, we had a gentleman not too long ago. He started like a book club thing. So you guys have things, opportunities for people to engage and have purpose. And I think that's really the exciting thing about it. And so for each and every one of you, uh, Julia and I, we are going to be right back everyone right after this era living is locally owned and operates eight premier retirement communities in seattle renton mercer island bellevue and issaquah from vibrant independent living to compassionate assisted living to secure memory care Era Living respects and honors older adults by enhancing the quality of their lives. Learn more at eraliving.com. 